Hello, good morning Year 4. Today is Tuesday the 2nd of March and we are going to be looking at time today. So we're going to continue to look at time. Um, so your learning question for today is can I continue to revisit and answer questions about time? So just before we start, I have got a little warm up on the board. Um, and we need to record the time of each activity in a digital format. Now, I know you can't really see the times on here very well, so I'm just going to very quickly go over it with my pen so you can have a look and use a clock of your own um, to read what time it is. Okay, so hopefully you can see that a little bit better. So you've got four different activities, netball, football, rock climbing and roller disco. And you've got the time on a clock face. And what you need to do is record it digitally. So how you would find it like this, so that is digital time. And this is analogue, okay. So you're going to write it down digitally. So, when you've done your challenge, you need to send it in to the Year 4 email address. Um, this will help you um, just to practice getting used to telling the time and reading the time on a clock and then having a look at how you convert it digitally. Because I know a lot of you are really good at reading my time off my board and telling me when it's time for break because you know that when it says 10.30 that it's break time. But if you were to look at a clock, some of you struggle with it a little bit. So it'll be really good to get some extra practice in. So you are going to be looking at converting um, analogue into digital time. And you're also going to be looking at converting how you would write um, your time down for a 24 hour clock. OK, so on my board here, I've just got um, a picture of a clock. And it shows you the minutes around the outside in the yellow bands and it's going up in fives. And it also shows you the time that you see on the clock face. I've also got on my board how you would write those times if you were to write it out as a sentence. And it says here, so in the AM, so AM is the morning from midnight until noon. So that would be, um, midnight would be written like this. Okay. And that would be until noon, so that would be until noon. So that would be a.m. And my p.m. would be from noon until uh, until midnight. So that's after midday. Okay. So now you've got an idea of what a.m. and p.m. is. Let's look at your question. So your question is asking you to write these times as they would appear on a 24 hour clock. So when you look at a 24 hour clock, it doesn't look the same as what it would on a normal clock face. So after you've reached midday at lunchtime, something happens with your time on a digital clock. And instead of it being one o'clock, it actually turns into 13, the number 13, it turns into the number 14, instead of 3 o'clock in the afternoon it turns into 15, 4 turns into 16 and so on until you reach midnight when the clock decides to reset itself again okay so on a digital clock your numbers go from zero all the way through to zero again so it goes zero all the way through so zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and then zero again. So when you have your digital clock, because there are 24 hours in a day, it goes up to 23, and then for the 24th hour, it goes back to zero and resets itself for a new day, okay? So when you are doing your conversion, use this image to help you to understand that these all mean the same thing, it's just that they're written differently when you use a 24-hour clock, okay? So try your best with this one. If you need to use a clock to help you, so if you need to use a clock to help you or a clock face, that's fine. Don't worry about it. That's what it's there for. It's there to help you, okay? So moving on to question two, it's asking you how many hours are in something. So straight away, I know I'm going to have to do something called conversion. Now, you've all done a really good job of conversion already from last week's lessons, where you were having a go at converting your answers. And you were doing it when you were doing measure, and you've done it when you've done time as well. So if I know that there are 24 hours in one day, and my question is asking me how many are in three days, what do you think I might need to do? Have a think. Okay. Bab, you're going to have to multiply three by 24. Now, I know that three times 12 is 36. So, I need to do 36 times 36. To get my answer. Okay. So I can see there that I can work it out like this. So I do 3 times 12 because it's 36, and then I add two of them together because 12 times 12 is 24. Okay. So that gives me 72 or 3 times 24. So then I know that if the 72 add 6, so that's going to be 78 hours. Okay, and as always, check with the calculator, uh, check by using a calculator. So I might get onto the board. Okay, so 3 times 24. 72 add 6. Oh. 72 add. Let me start add. Add 6 equals 78. So straight away I can see there that my answer of 78 hours is correct. So I've worked it out in my head and then I've gone on to check my answer is correct. Okay, moving on to question 3. Write these times as they would appear on a 12 hour clock. Use AM or PM. Okay, so I've gone with B, which is 1720. Now I'm going to write on the outside of my clock all the numbers up until I get to the number 17. Fab. So I know it's 5 and the 20 is there. So it must be. Now, how do I know whether it's a.m. or p.m.? Well, in the 24-hour clock, after we've reached the number 12, which we know is midday, anything after that increases by 1 from the number 12 will be p.m. So I know that 17, um, 20 is p.m. So when I've converted it, I know straight away, well, the number's saying it's 17, so it must be in the evening. So I need to make sure... I write PM after it, okay? Because I know that the number 17 means that the event is taking place in the afternoon. So it's your job to go through all the other um all the other times that you've got in your workbook. And I would use this method where you get yourself a clock face and you write down numbers after 12 that is that are seen in a 24-hour clock to help you convert it. Because you can see there. 13 is the same as 1. 
So 1 is 1am and 13 is in the afternoon, okay? And my last question for today in your workbook is how many days are in? Now I know straight away 7 equals 1 week. I know that there are 7 days in 1 week. So I will have to multiply by 7 to get my answer. It's saying 2 weeks and 1 day. So I need to multiply 7 by 2, which we all know is 14. And then we have to do 14 and by 1 equals 15. So therefore my answer is going to be 15 days. Okay? Super duper easy. You're going to be multiplying by 7 with whatever answer is in weeks because we know that there are 7 days in 1 week. Okay, so your challenge for today is to have a look at this clock. I don't know if you can see, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So you've just got to finish these sentences. So you've got your clock there with your clock face. It's saying the time is something past 10. This can also be written as something minutes past 10. The digital time is. So you need to look. We know that it's 10 something, but it's not 10, it's 10, the time is 3 past 10. That's not right. So remember, we go up in fives when we count the minutes. So it goes 5, 10, 15, 20. So how many minutes past 10 is it, okay? So use your knowledge of the clock face and going up in fives to help you to work out the answer to this question. Now if it's a digital time and you're saying that it's 10, is it 10 a.m. or is it 10 p.m.? Have a think, what numbers have they used? Okay, so give that a really good go and send it in. And your last part for today is a reflection. So we're going to continue with these reflections just so we can understand what worked well, what we might change, what we found hard or easy, and little ways to help us to remember what we have learned today, okay? So your reflection for today is something that I have learned today is, what is it that you have learned? Is it that you have learned to convert a 24 hour clock? Is it that you have learned how to count um, the minutes on a clock face? Or is it that you have learned how to write time digitally? What is it that you have done today um, that you would like to write down or reflect on, okay? Please continue to send in your emails using the year four email address. I know some of you haven't been doing that um, recently. We've got one week left of home learning. So just make sure that you're sending in photos of your work, okay? We are getting very close to coming back into school, which is very exciting. I can't wait to see you all, but please continue to work at home because some of this stuff we'll be recapping very, very briefly when you get back into school. Um, so just make sure that you are doing your work at home for me year four. And please send in your email to the year four email. Any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch and I'll see you all soon. Bye.